gonna show you guys how to dispose of the acetone. Now, my previous video, I showed how to dispose of the acrylic liquid or even how to dispose of both of them, but today I'm gonna focus more on the acetone. All right, so this is the acetone. All right, so this is one way like I just showed you guys, and then this is the second way, all right? welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you how to dispose of nail polish remover and acetone correctly all right so i did a previous video where i showed you guys how to dispose of the acrylic liquid so make sure you check out that but today we are going to show how to dispose of the acetone as you can see this is a big bottle of 100 percent pure acetone for professional use only Multi-purpose, pure acetone nail polish remover quickly, effectively removes acrylic nails, UV gel, and nail polish in seconds, okay? Directions to remove nail polish, moisten cotton ball, press firmly against nail and rub away from cuticle. Wipe nail clean and wash hands. All right, so I'm not gonna get into all of this because today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to dispose of this, all right? So I'm gonna show you what we do with this in the nail field or even if you're not in the nail field you could use this for cleaning jewelry just other stuff but today i'm going to show you how to properly dispose of this where you won't get in trouble and you know we're going to talk a little bit about the environment but this is definitely a good video today and i just want to make it short and just get to the point all right so now as you can see this right here this is the used up acetone so what happened i transferred from here to here okay and then we're going to dispose of this all right so as you can see it's not yet filled and this is actually an alcohol bottle i'm using but this is how the acetone looks you know once we use it in the nail field it gets discolored it's no longer clear this is how the acetone looks it's clear now acetone is actually different from nail polish remover nail polish remover it could possibly look something like this but a lot of times nail polish remover it has um, other ingredients but it does have acetone in it so the major thing in nail polish remover is the um is the acetone that's what makes it um removable all right so let's get into the video the first thing you want to do when working with any kind of chemicals you want to make sure you have your glove in my last video i didn't have my gloves on but this is something i always always do i don't know what happened i got beside myself but today I am not gonna get beside myself because I'm going to be ready. All right, so you wanna go ahead and you wanna put your gloves on. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how the acetone is used. Now, when you're a beginner, sometimes you're tempted to go ahead and you wanna use, um, you know, nail polish remover, but what nail polish remover does, it the, the active ingredient in there is actually acetone. And what it actually does, it helps to remove the polish easier, right? So today I don't have any nail polish remover because I haven't used that thing in a long time. Before I knew how to do nails professionally, that's what I would purchase. And if you're just doing this from home and you don't have acetone or you don't have access to acetone, then you wanna just go ahead and get you some nail polish remover. The active ingredient inside the nail polish remover is acetone and it have like essential oils and so forth and that's why when you compare both of them you realize that the acetone removes it faster because the nail polish remover it, it has more oils in it it's probably better for your nail but you know you have to press down and you have to scrub to remove all right when you use acetone that that doesn't happen and you just take it off right away and it's easy and that's why in professional environments we use the acetone versus the nail polish remover because the nail polish remover takes a long time right because of the essential oils and so forth so if you're at home and you just want to remove some polishes and you know that's all you have nail polish remover then it's definitely okay to use that all right but you know if you're more of a professional or you're just even starting out doing nails the acetone is going to work faster and this is how you use it you pour the acetone okay well this is just a bottle i have empty bottle okay it doesn't say acetone but you could tell it's acetone because it's clear acetone is clear so if you've ever been to the salon and you see like a clear liquid that looks like water it's acetone it has like a really strong smell but it feels like icy cold it's cold to the touch it's nothing that's gonna burn you it's actually 
feels good on the hands, right? It's, it's cold, really, really cold. All right, so I painted this nail just to show you, okay, how you use the acetone. So you put some acetone on a cotton ball or cotton pad, and then you press down firmly, right? And then you just kind of pull it. Do you see how fast that came off? That's how the acetone works. Nail polish remover, you had to be, you know what I'm saying, doing your thing and struggling. All right, so there you go. So once you're done with that, maybe you're doing 10 fingers, it's gonna take you some time, but that's how you use the acetone. You use the acetone just like how you use nail polish remover. It just works more faster and in a professional environment, professional setting, professionally doing nails, this is what we use. We use acetone, all right? But like I said, if you're working from home and you don't have access to acetone, then of course your next bet is gonna be the nail polish remover. And like I said, if you, you know, if you're into the whole nail care situation, then, you know, nail polish remover will be a good choice. It's just going to take longer to remove, you know, your polish. All right. So there we go. That is done. Now, this video is really about disposing of the acetone. So now what, once it's in here, what you want to do, you want to get you a plastic bag. All right. It doesn't have to be this plastic bag. It could be any plastic bag. Just, just something that the smell, you know, won't affect you. You rip it off and you want to make sure that you put it inside that plastic bag right and at this point i mean you're gonna have more than just one cotton ball i presume especially if you're doing nails all day right and you're gonna tightly close that bag and you're just gonna dump it in the garbage all right so that's how you'll dispose of acetone in one way this is a easy way but what if you had acetone in this amount right okay this is just left leftover acetone I have when I do my customers this is what it looks like I'm gonna close up and show you guys you see how it looks right it looks just like this all right that's that's how it looks it's no longer it's no longer clear right it is now to the color so if you use like you know yellow polishes or anything yellow it will be yellow anything red it will be red anything green it will be green because of course acetone is clear so it's gonna take whatever color nail polish you use or gel acrylic whatever you use because we do use acetone also to remove the acrylic from our brushes all right so a lot of times when we do nails we'll have two kinds of liquids and the two kind of liquids will be acrylic liquid and acetone and those are the two kind of liquids that nail technicians work with all right so that clear thing that looks like water that's the acetone and that purple thing that you normally see that would be the acrylic liquid all right so i just finished my customer and this is what's left over all right i'm going to show you guys how to dispose of the acetone now my previous video i showed how to dispose of the acrylic liquid or even how to dispose of both of them but today i want to focus more on the acetone all right so this is the acetone all right so this is one way like i just showed you guys and then this is the second way all right now you want to get you a little funnel now i've been using this it's kind of scraggly y'all so please don't judge me all right but you want to get you a little funnel right and you want to get you a big bottle like this right you can use a small bottle like this if you wanted to maybe you're not doing that many nails to where you could fill up an actual chug like this and what you want to do you want to go ahead and you want to take this right and you want to pour the acetone down here to make sure it's not splashing everywhere right so you want to take the acetone you're going to open that top right all right like i said you don't have to use this bottle but you see you can see inside of it and you just want to put this on here right? do you see how stainy this is i'm going to show you guys all right so this is what happens when the acetone is mixed with the acrylic liquid you see all this right here that's that stainy um liquidy just that stainy stuff and if you keep pouring this down your toilet this is what's going to go in your waterways all right so you know this is just an example of what it looks like all right and sometimes in our waterways you know it's going to fishes in the streams you don't know where exactly the the water disposal is going right so you just have to be careful right more um environmentally friendly all right so anyways this video let me get back to the acetone and this is the reason why they don't want this down the drains okay because this could happen and this is like a lot of chemical reaction a lot of things 
is mixed up in here, okay? Now, I know it's easy just to pour this down the drain and nobody will know. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's illegal to do that. All right, so anyways, they make ways and preparations for you to dispose of this stuff, and you just wanna go ahead and just do the right thing, okay? So here we go. You just pour it in here, and voila, it's down the drain. It is down the drain. That's all you have to do. You could save a fish, you could save a plant, you know, an animal's life, or even, you never know, your child's life. And you just kind of close that tightly, and the smell will go away. Now, you want to say, Jules, what am I going to do with this big old bottle, you know, when it's filled up? Because this is going to take some time to fill up, depending on how many nails you're doing, you know. Now, I'm going to show you, if you continue watching the video, what I did. So, I ended up just vlogging the rest of the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really, really short. But today, I just showed you two ways how to properly dispose of your acetone, all right? So, I hope this helps somebody, okay? So, continue watching the video, and you'll see what I do in the rest of the video how i properly dispose of my chemicals all right so it's saturday and i'm at the waste disposal plant this is in my city where you can go ahead and drop stuff off so this is the way you're supposed to do it y'all so there it goes there's a lot of paints and stuff and it's a whole bunch of cars in front of me it looks like they're taking a lot of paints so let's hopefully they'll go ahead and they'll take what i have to um drop off okay so as you can see there's a whole bunch of like paints and stuff they're taking so this is a proper way to do it just find some place that does um the disposal and you'll be fine places like this you go ahead and you drop off your waste disposal so don't throw it down a sink because that is illegal so you want to do it the right way especially if you have a lot of acrylic liquid or acrylic monomer left over this is the place that you know you're going to find in your city and just go there and drop it off correctly oh okay so today this is a part of showing you why we should start being more environmentally friendly if you can see how cloudy this is we're actually in the everglades and it's burning down here like the everglades everybody knows like a wetland but right now it's burning so what the authorities are saying they're just gonna let it burn out because it's the everglade and i guess you know just let the ec ecosystem take its course but as you can see climate change and a lot of stuff or is affecting our environment so you know disposal of acrylic liquid and stuff like that you have to take that very very seriously because pollution of our waterways and our environment is serious all right and these are just the effects these are just the things that happen you know the unknown things okay that's my daughter in the background y'all she's excited to see smoke um yeah so these are the things that we have to take pretty serious so as you can see it's clearing up right now and, and I am on the Sawgrass Expressway and as you can see that is the Everglades to my left hand side so now it's cleared up a little bit because we're going out more up north we're going heading more north on the highway so but when you're heading a little bit south on the right hand side which is the opposite side that you're gonna be looking at it's a lot of smoke like it's a lot a lot of smoke and it looks dangerous so a lot of people are staying away from here for now but like I said it's just a part of the environment and one more reason why we should take care of it.